30 million Americans visit indoor tanning salons each year this morning, the FDA is holding a hearing on proposed stricter regulations based on new research linking tanning beds to skin cancer. CBS News correspondent Elaine Keanu has one woman's cautionary tale. At just 21 years old, Nicole Tamney was a veteran of tanning salons. Nicole Tamney? She's traded her regular tanning sessions for doctor visits after being diagnosed with melanoma, the deadliest form of skin cancer. What was your reaction? It was like a scene from a movie, kind of, you know, the phone fell out of my hand, dropped to the floor crying. It was just, I mean, I think oncologist and cancer are the two scariest words. Emergency surgery then left her with a six-inch scar on her back. Now she's awaiting the results of another biopsy. I don't eat, I don't sleep, you know, because it's one more phone call. It could be just like how it was last year. But many dermatologists believe the dangers of indoor tanning are clear. They say using indoor tanning beds before age 35 increases a person's risk of melanoma by 75%. Nearly 69,000 new cases of melanoma were diagnosed last year, and more than 8,600 people died. It's like my mom telling me, oh, don't tan, it's cancer in a box. Nicole hopes today's FDA hearings lead to more awareness of the dangers. Tanning salon owner Jan Meshon argues the government already has enough regulations in place. We already are a well-regulated industry that does a lot of self-policing and responsible tanning salons like ours are a great place a lot of people enjoy. And everything's negative, everything's fine. Nicole Tamney is in the clear for now. I'm very relieved, but I know that there's going to be more. But she has to be checked out every three months in case the cancer comes back. Elaine Quijano, CBS News, New York. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.